Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for oh, it slipped. Uh, January 2024, and I'll do the reading for you, and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Well, let's see, Saji. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the full. You seem to be open to something here. Looks good, looks nice. Okay, uh, starting off the reading, you get the Ace of Wands crossed by the Eight of Pentacles. You're working on something and you're very passionate about it too. In your focus, the Temperance card, that's your energy right there. So definitely standing in your power and whatever it is you're investing in right now, energetically, physically, from all stands, it makes you feel good. Um, in the recent past, the Six of Wands, feeling really nice about something, almost like you achieved something in that sense of, yay, I, I did it. Uh, in your strength, the Knight of Pentacles, you've worked a lot on patience too, where it feels like you're, you know, when it's time to move slow, you move slow. And it is what it is. It's almost like there's no bitching about it either. <laughs> like, ah, oh, man, it's too slow. No. Okay. In the immediate future, the Ten of Pentacles, that's a sense of stability that's coming through. Supporting this reading, the Two of Cups, there's definitely another energy attached to you here as you go through these energies. Uh, surrounding you at this time, an energy that you may not be able to see, the Ten of Cups. There's a lot of happiness surrounding you. And I feel like for the most part, you're seeing it, especially with the energies you're presenting to me here. Um, but you're not seeing it fully for what it is. Um, Almost like, yeah, catching glimpses of it here and there. Glimpses of it here and there. In your hopes and fears, the Five of Wands, you're hoping your best that... This is interesting, because you're coming through with saying to me something like, I hope I don't fuck it up. Which is quite interesting. Um, okay. In the potential outcome, the King of Cups. That's a lot of love there. That's really nice for now. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the full. <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. So you're definitely quite open to another energy here. There seems to be an energy of equal give and take. There seems to be like you're holding on to certain energies that... They're, they're just not releasing you from this aspect of seeing the negative in things, you know, from from that perspective of, yeah, but that's not going to work out. Or, yeah, but that's, you know, could be prettier or something. Like, it's just a little bit of an energy like that. It's not taken over in the sense of you're always complaining about something or you're always not seeing something uh, in a positive light. No, it's just a little of, you know, at times you may catch yourself where you're like, eh whatever you know but for the most part you're quite open to especially another energy here that's by your side let's do the ace of wands the page of wands the knight of swords the two of cups yep you're fully open here energetically speaking physically speaking you're right in there you're like okay let's go let's do this let's do the eight of pentacles oh my the Lovers, the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. Why does this feel like you're stuck? The minute you, you start going a little deeper um, into how you feel about the situation, into where you want the situation to go, it almost feels like you're getting stuck. Like, almost like you're interfering with the flow of things here. Um... That's not the intention. The intention is to help the situation progress in a much smoother, better way. Uh, but it's like almost like almost like you're scared to go a little deeper with it in allowing yourself to to kind of deeply feel the flow of things within this dynamic. And I don't even know what this is about. It doesn't have to be romantic, by the way. It can be something that has to do with work. 
but it's uh, more of a sense of not allowing yourself to, to open up to it more deeply. Um, for the Temperance card in your focus, you get the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. There's some resistance to your own sense of growth. To There's almost like a limitation on it. There's almost like seeing yourself getting from here up to here and then saying, that's it. Like there's no more room for growth after that. Huh. Interesting. When what you're giving me from inside of you there is like unlimited. There's room like no tomorrow. But this is coming from you in the sense of how you limit yourself here. And it does have to do with your own sense of stability, with who you created yourself to be out for this world, basically. Where it's almost like I see myself just up to here. There's more to it than that. Let's do the Knight of Pentacles in your strength. The Temperance card, the Nine of Swords, the Sun. You're blocking your path to happiness here. There's something in the way there that's yours that's blocking you from experiencing full happiness here so as i see you going let's say this is the path towards happiness you start taking it you start going on it it's you're walking quite slow it's fine it's you know there's slow progress there it's okay i don't see that i don't see you being bothered by it but you know what's slowing you down there there's something you're putting in the way there. There's, it's almost like you're standing in your own way here. That's what's making this progress look or feel so slow. I'm not surprised you're coming in in your hopes and fears and telling me, I hope I don't fuck it up. You know something. What is in the way of this whole... You're limiting yourself all the time here through these energies. What is that? Huh. It's a self-worth kind of a thing. That's where we're going with this, apparently. Let's do the Ten of Pentacles in the immediate future. You get the Moon, the Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, um, there is a dynamic here. There is another person attached to you. I have no idea under what context here. If it's romantic, if it's someone you're working with, if it's... But there's a natural flow to things when it comes to this one. It's not just you with your conception of I'm going to fuck this up. This is this does carry because you are tied up to another energy and there is a natural flow to things moving forward. It feels like the flow of that. It's a little smoother than your own personal flow because your own personal flow. There's you telling yourself who knows what to stop yourself from achieving who knows what, you know. Whereas this connection is kind of flowing on its own and you're there for the right because it's fun. It's like, oh man, this flow feels good, you know? Um, and it's coming from both sides where the both of you are creating this flow that has no limitations. So it almost feels like you could learn a thing or two from this connection here uh, that you can apply for you personally, which is quite ironic and interesting. You always do things like sideways, like how do you always end up doing things twisted like that? You're the one that should start with a natural flow that contributes to a connection and then the connection has a natural flow. But no, you're the one that's limiting your flow, but you're in a connection that has a natural flow. And then if you learn from that and apply it to you, how the hell? For the Two of Cups, in the supportive energies, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. Oop! Uh-oh. Guess what? There's a little bit of limitation here for the flow of the connection. Because uh, it's coming from a place of it's going, it's going, it's going, and then at some point, one of you, and I don't know who, I'm just going to throw it out there, I think it's you, uh, stops and says, um, what now? Where are we going? What, what, what's next? What, what, what are we doing here? You know? And so you are influencing 
the flow of this connection without knowing that you're doing it from your own personal sense of limiting yourself. Okay, it's just showing up a little later, apparently. Um, for the Ten of Cups in the Hidden Energies, you get the Two of Swords, the Justice card, the Five of Swords. Whoa, you're complicating things a little more than they need to here. You know, it's coming through as a quite deceptive energy because you're starting to overthink things. So let's say you're back to this energy of where to next, what now, what do we do? You start to so stress out about what next that you're just blocking the flow altogether. You, you just stopped it right there. You know, because of the overthinking aspect, because of almost like panicking mode. Like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we, when all you need to do is just let it flow. See where it goes. Because it knows its course, this connection. Doesn't need you to interfere with, uh-oh. Because that stops it, you know. And we're getting to the part that you warned me about from the get-go of, I hope I don't fuck it up. And you're not fucking it up. You're just with that sense of limiting yourself, you're affecting the flow of whatever connection this is. This is not fucking it up. This is, let me check why that is. Let me check why this is blocked right now. Uh, and it's not to look into the connection, it's to look into yourself because you're carrying it here. You're, you keep on showing it to me here that it's yours. It's your own sense of limiting yourself from getting to happiness, from experiencing that fully, from not believing, you know, your place in this world is over here when there's so much beyond that and you're you're limiting yourself to being just there. That's it. That's, that's why I'm in this world. That's all I got. That's it. Nope. Nope. And that interferes uh, with this connection right now as we kind of look into these things. But, um... Yeah, it's just a matter of stepping aside, stepping aside. Don't try to direct this energy because you panicked and you don't know where, what, but it wasn't even stopping. If it did stop, it stopped for a break to drink some water or something, and then it keeps going. It knows the flow. Energies know their flow. We interfere with them with all sorts of, hmm, I wonder what if we stopped wondering and just let things be, you know? Um, for the Five of Wands, in your hopes and fears, you get the Knight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Death card. You're learning. You're learning from this experience. This experience is teaching you a lot, especially of this connection. And again, it comes back to you. It teaches you a lot about... I like this energy, and I like the fact that you recognize it. Um, a lot in this whole... I don't like the way you address it, I hope... I don't fuck things up because it's not about fucking up. It's about learning something from this. And you're doing exactly that. Um, at times you have a hard time learning because, you know, you're struggling. You're kind of fighting with yourself. And I, there's nothing to learn. I have nothing's wrong with me that I'm stopping the flow of anything. What's wrong with you? You're stopping the flow. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of that going on. But ultimately, I see you recognizing that. Hmm, yeah. I am limiting myself, you know, because that, that's where it's that's where it's at. And that sense of you doing that to self is going to reflect in any dynamic or relationships you may um, deal with along the way. For the King of Cups in the potential outcome, you get the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. And that's why all of these dynamics that you form with someone... And even when you're on your own, when you have like the smooth ride and at some point it feels really bumpy, like out of nowhere, it's starting to be really, really bumpy. Uh, that's why it's presenting itself that way because of the limitations you put on yourself. You know, yeah, sometimes it's going to be challenging and bumpy and that's okay. As long as you keep on going, you'll be fine. You'll cross that. You'll get to the smoothness again. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's going to get bumpy, but then if we limit ourselves and if we don't believe that we can get across that and we still try, then that bump is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger to the point of, I, I can't do this, fuck this shit. I'm just going to quit, you know? So 
interesting reading. But let's see what the universe has. The Justice card, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. <laughs> this is a little bit of a struggling aspect for you because I see you catching this limitation that you put on yourself at times and as you catch it you're like okay let me work on it but then you're like but I'm mm, I kind of want to move forward though like I caught it okay it made my bump feel a little easier so now I ca I'm kind of ready to go but you didn't really work on it so that it doesn't come up with another bump along the way, you know? Uh, you're just happy that it made the bump look a little easier to pass and now you're good to go, you can proceed. Um, so it's like, it's almost like half healing it because acknowledging it is definitely probably even more than half of healing it. But then actual healing and dealing with it and see what, what is causing it, you didn't go there because you're like, ah, I need to go straight up because, you know, the path is clear again. Yeah, but for how long? Because another bump is going to show up because you didn't heal it. So they're going to keep on showing up with bumps. So, yeah, very, very interesting. Um, let's do the Oracle of E. X-ray vision. Number two. All right. Ignore everything in your life that suggests there's a problem. It's time to look past the illusory veil of petty struggles. As soon as you take your attention off all that appears wrong, you will begin to notice all sorts of right signs and clues. The universe is throwing buckets buckets of clear guidance your way. See beyond the surface and the superficial. Soak in the deeper meaning. Soak in the refreshing water of truth. Nice. X-ray vision. I like that. Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.